Sexual intimacy is a big conversation and topic with a lot of my clients after betrayal, after infidelity, after broken trust, secrets, and cheating. One of the things that I try to recommend or encourage my couples do is find other ways other than sexual intimacy to bring intimacy into your relationship. What does that mean? Well, there's musical in, uh, um, intimacy. Sit on the couch, hug, rub each other's arms, and listen to some nice, relaxing, romantic music. Now, that might be triggering for some of you, so that, that wouldn't apply. There's intellectual intimacy, playing a card game together, playing a board game together, um, reading a magazine on an article or something that's interesting and sharing it with your partner and having a discussion. This could also include, um, if you guys are on the same page politically or religiously, having those intellectual conversations, intellectually stimulating conversations that bring connections and bonds. Um, there's also um, physical intimacy that doesn't include sexual intimacy, although it could. Um, what does that mean? That means going on a bike ride together, going to the gym together, doing something physical together. So there's a whole lot of things that you can do, whether it's going to a museum, um, together it, that you can really keep intimacy into your relationship keep that um, close bond that connection if you're not ready to take that step into a more sexual intimacy now keep in mind you you could do this even if you're not thinking of reconciling or rebuilding or you're not sure what have you um, do this to see is it a possibility that um, we can even get over this hump to engage in something a little bit more. But for now, we're still gonna bring that intimacy into our relationship, but I'm not ready to go there yet sexually. So, um, hope that helps and keep me posted.